Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be doing my honest review on the Givenchy Shark Pant Lock Boots. The Shark Lock Pant Boots in leather. These retail for $22.95. Oh gosh, it's so heavy. It's this big box basically, and I've already told you what they are. You already know from the title. Okay, I don't need this up here. I'm gonna put this back on the floor. All right, so here's my paperwork. I will definitely be using this. Okay, so here's the box. Very big and bougie. Hell yeah. These will be going back. I do not like them. I'm gonna try to hold up to. I'm not gonna promise you anything. I might not be able to do that. I haven't even unwrapped this one. I only try it one on one because that's really all I need to do. Number one, they're too small. They are not true to size like the Givenchy website says. I'm just gonna stop believing when they say these shoes are true to size because that is not the case. These shoes run small. I sized up. My actual size in Italian is a 40. I actually got a 40.5. I was like, I don't believe y'all. I mean, at least do a 40.5. Still too small. And I feel like the 40 one or maybe even a 41 and a half would be a better fit for me so I don't want to scratch these because I'm sending them back for that reason I'm just going to hold one up but they are both the same they both have the lock on the side they are beautiful don't get me wrong they are absolutely gorgeous and all of that so beautiful they just don't work for me and I'm gonna tell you why I'm being very careful y'all know I'm not careful with any packaging but I'm being careful because I'm taking this back or I'm sending it back so actually I didn't even know this I didn't know I kind of forgot the locks are different on both so here are the two locks which I think is nice I don't need my stuff to match y'all know this now that y'all know what both of those look like I'm gonna just hold one up it's way too hard to hold too these are absolutely beautiful I know they're not for everybody okay I know this I wanted to love these so much. I wanted to keep these so much, but I just, I don't want to risk it. So basically aside from them being too small, y'all know that's an easy fix. I could have easily sent these back, got a bigger size. I just don't think it's worth it. Number one, I don't like the fact when I put these on, this front part hits the bottom of the shoe when I walk in them. It goes like this, if you can see what I'm doing here. And it makes a noise. It is annoying. Listen closely. Hear the squeak? I hate that. And the only way to avoid that, I don't even know if I can avoid it. Hold on. No, I'm trying to walk stiff. There's still a noise. It looks so good, oh my God. But the design is terrible. Now to struggle with taking these off. <laughs> Although these are way too tight for me. I'm gonna have to get help to squeeze these back off my feet. It was that hard to take these off. <sighs> Second issue, they are not adjustable. There's no way to get in and out of them without putting your whole leg in here and putting it back out. I mean, yes, knee high boots, some of them happen to fit that way where you have to squeeze your leg and your foot in there, but there's no hidden zipper in these unless I totally overlooked them. You know, there's no type of stretch. My husband don't know how to be quiet. This is why I film when nobody's at home. He is loud. One second. I'm sorry, like, I don't like that. <laughs> I do not like background noise. I know y'all don't either. Cause I hate when I'm watching a video and I can hear somebody's whole conversation. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I don't like the fact how this rubs at the front. It's annoying. And I don't want to hear that every time I walk. And I'm concerned, although this leather isn't sharp at the bottom, I'm concerned. Why is my camera battery dying? Hold on. Another thing I could see potentially being a problem, I can't confirm if it's a problem or not because I'm not about to walk on these on, you know, the ground or anything, like outside or anywhere like that because I'm returning them. But this bottom sole is super smooth and I feel like it would be super like prone to making me bust my ass on the ground, basically. <laughs> I don't know, that just freaks me out. Yes, it has this heel right here because it is a wedge heel. So it's comfortable. It seems like it'll be comfortable. Like for me walking around on the carpet in here, it was very comfortable or on my rug. But I love the fact that it has a wedge and not an actual heel or stiletto heel or anything like that. It makes it super comfortable. Another con about these is that they have a pointed toe. It's rounder. It's not a super pointed toe, but it's a little bit round, but it's very narrow. And for those of us with medium or wide feet, that's not good. It's gonna crunch your toes up. So you don't have narrow feet, I don't really recommend these shoes. If you have wide feet, I don't recommend at all. Another con comes in one color. Another con is super trendy, which means you might not wanna wear these, but they are super sexy. They look great on my legs, great with shorts. I can see them going great with skirts, dresses, short ones, of course. I wouldn't do them with anything long because these are so long. They are pants. 
length or you know knee they come up to your knees basically underneath your knees because of all of those cons you know aside from the fact they're narrow i could easily size up you know twice three times to avoid that i just can't deal with spending over two grand for a pair of boots and then have this part rub at the front like that i don't know and it just freaks me out i don't want it to mess the leather up on the shoe or at the bottom of this from it continuously doing that i'm not sure if i'll actually do that but i'm not about to risk it i was a little bit iffy anyway spending that type of money on a pair of boots but i like them so much i thought they looked so cute on and they do okay but it's just the fact that there's so many things that i don't like about them <laughs> that outweigh what i love about them and it's just not worth it i can use that twenty two hundred dollars on my bulgari bag that i want <laughs> rather than a pair of boots but yeah if you have narrow feet if you don't mind the possibility of this rubbing down now i don't know if this part coming down like this is a shoe defect or i don't even know just know that it does that it like you can even hear it now listen this is how it sounds when you walk i can't do it with that okay it shouldn't be that way this part in my opinion should have been a little shorter not too shorter because i see what they're trying to do they're trying to make it like bootleg type of look like the bootleg jeans that we're used to from way back when it just should have been shorter i just think it was executed poorly and for that type of money they should have done a better job so if you have narrow feet if you don't mind that if you don't care about trendiness don't care about price all of that go for them but i'm telling you i don't think they're worth it although they're all over instagram although they're sold out the hype is real every time you sign up for the notifications you get your size you check out they're sold out and it's gone like as soon as you go back because that's what happened to me. It's gone, it's all gone. I didn't just go in there and check out. I had reserved the 40.5 and the 41. Well, not reserved it, but I asked to be notified when they came back in stock and I got the 40.5 notification first. So that is when I bought. And then right when I went back to look again, they were gone. So people are buying these up. <laughs> I just don't get the hype. It's too many issues, too many problems, okay? So I suggest you save your coin. And if I find any other good boots that are long, cause I am still looking for some luxury designer boots and that, it's not important now because it's hot. But if I find some, I'll definitely share them with you. As always, let me know if you guys own these, how you feel about them, if you hate them. I would like to know that too. I will leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.